cool so i showed you how to record a verse now in order to get a full song done you're just going to record the different segments whether that's the hook the ad lib intros outros you're just going to do the same process for the rest of your song the next step of the process involves arranging things and now we're talking about editing a quick note on editing if you're going to send your tracks to somebody else to mix and master it may make sense to talk to them before you start editing your track they may have specific rules that they want you to adhere to or they might just prefer to edit tracks as part of their process so check in and see what makes sense before you start diving in too deep into editing your session now before we start editing anything it's really important to go to file and go to save a copy and save a copy of this session somewhere so just in case you mess things up in your edit you have a version to go back to that saves things as they were exactly after you recorded it the worst thing to do is to get really deep into editing a song go back to it and realize you don't like your changes and then you can't easily go back so let's start navigating around and i'll show you how to edit some things first things first you can scroll around with your trackpad to navigate around the session and you can use pinch to zoom to zoom in on these sessions it's super handy um, also live has two really useful keyboard shortcuts for automatically adjusting the height and the width of your session h will adjust the height and w will adjust the width so it'll zoom things out to as full as your session is it's really helpful especially when you get really big sessions so let me go ahead and close these track lanes again that is command option u and i'm going to highlight everything click the first track click this last track and just give us some space here to work i want to talk a little bit about snap modes if you look there's these little grids or these lines going up and down on the session and if i drag my cursor anywhere it's going to snap to these grids that's helpful um, these are time based so right now these are split up into 16th note divisions we don't have to get too nerdy about what that means but basically the smaller the division is the smaller the grid you have to work with now if i want to free form all I have to do is take this fixed grid to off and now I can highlight anything without worrying about it snapping to a grid. This is really helpful when you're trying to select really small parts of a lyric or a verse or maybe even like a single word. And a quick way to actually toggle back and forth between having your grid on and off is the command for shortcut. So I'm going to change this grid to, let's say, a bar. It's nice and easy to see when I have the snapping on all it does is click on the next bar if I want to turn that off I can hit command 4 if you see down here now it says off and I can highlight whatever I need another handy shortcut here let me just turn snapping back on if I hit command 1 it'll divide the divisions in half if I hit command 1 again it'll go in half again in half if I hit command two, it'll raise these grids to bigger values. So you can make your grids smaller and bigger with command one and two, and you can disable and enable your grid altogether with command four. Command three actually allows you to do triplet divisions, something you're probably not gonna use for vocal editing too much. So when you start to select pieces of audio, you realize that a lot of the same copy paste shortcuts that you know from word processors and emails works here too so if i wanted to grab this four bars i can hit command copy i can go over here and hit command v and paste it over there i can select this clip and hit command d that'll duplicate it i can even option drag a clip to make a duplicate and that's a really handy if you want to do like a stack for example I can make a track really quick with command T and then let's say I want to grab this piece of audio down and put it here and now I can put a really weird effect on this track and I still have my main vocal but that little bitty piece is also lined up good to go and now it has whatever effect that I want to put on it. You can trim a clip just by clicking on the edge. So if you notice when I went to the edge of this clip the cursor changed to this little bracket that means I can now drag the edge of this clip either way and that works on either end of the clip and it'll follow the same snap rules that you have so right now it's moving in eighth divisions 
if I hit command four, I've disabled the snap. And now I can just move this by freehand wherever I need it to go. You can split clips, which can be really useful. Sometimes you just want to take a part of a clip, but not the entire thing. If you click on where you want that split to happen, you can hit command E and it'll split the clip into two pieces. I'm just going to undo that. You can also just go here and hit split. That was just a right click split from the sub menu. If I wanted to join these clips back together, I can click this one, command click this one. Let's actually grab all of them. So I'll shift click to the end. Now I have all four of these clips highlighted. I'm going to hit command J. That was command J. And it consolidates this clip into a brand new one. Nice, neatly organized. A lot of engineers will like when you do all your edits as a last pass to just go back to the whole thing hit command J and consolidate it into one wave file. You can select a section and hit zero to disable that section. You can hit zero again and it'll reactivate it. What live did was it did two things. It made a new clip and made a, a cut and then it disabled that little section. Um, you can also just clip, click onto a clip and hit zero and it'll reactivate that clip. And if you zoom in, let me actually move this back a bit. If you zoom in on any, waveform you can also fade in and out something i always do kill the silence at the beginning so i'd get rid of this silence when editing and then i'd zoom in real nice and just fade things in and this way the vocal doesn't just pop in your ears as soon as it starts even when you don't have any audio recorded sometimes that little bit of noise that might be in the background makes a click if you don't fade into a vocal so you can break clips down into sections and color them which is really helpful sometimes let's say you have like a first verse a second verse and a third verse each verse can get a different color if that's something you want to do um, something I've been doing a lot lately when sending things back and forth is editing the info for a clip. Let's say this section had something I wanted to tell an engineer. I'd right click this clip really quickly and hit edit info text. And now in the lower left corner, I can write a little note. Let's say I want to tell the engineer, add distortion to vocal here. Cool. And what I tend to do when I'm working with somebody will have a dedicated color for clips that have notes. So I'll just make all this one color green, for example, and I'll say, Hey, anywhere there's a clip with orange, there's a note for you there. The engineer can now just hover over that clip and look in the lower left corner to see what the note I had about that clip was super useful feature. I didn't use it until recently and now I can't get enough of it. And the last thing we'll talk about really quickly is cutting and pasting time. So let's say we didn't want the whole ending of this song for whatever reason. And there was a bunch of tracks. We didn't want to go and delete all of those tracks. We can just highlight the section and hit command shift X. And that is the cut time feature. All right. So you can obviously go to edit and do that too, but shortcut save you time. This is the cut time feature and it'll Get rid of that entire section of time in your session. You can do this in the middle of a section and it'll automatically join the clips in the middle. You can also highlight, let's say the end of a song and hit command shift D and that will duplicate that time. So anything that happened in this section will duplicate both the beat and the vocal. It's super helpful for extending an outro or extending a hook. So these are a couple of really key features in editing live. I always say like the best way to learn about editing is to open up a session, a copy of a session. So you're not messing anything that you need up and just play around with the audio, drag things around, copy, paste, command, click. The more you're comfortable with how to move waveforms around, the better you can start to do like advanced songwriting on the fly and advanced arranging on the fly. You can just record your vocal and move it to where it needs to be. Record this verse, record this hook, move it to where it needs to be. It really frees you up in the process if you know what you're doing.